We've seen them together on the court as Duke teammates. Now we're about to see them in opposing uniforms. Number one pick, Zion Williamson and the Pelicans, will open up Las Vegas Summer League action on July 5th against number three overall pick, R.J. Barrett and the Knicks. We know R.J. wanted to be a Nick. Did you see the way they welcomed him to Madison Square Garden? Give a look to this. Ladies and gentlemen, at guard, at 6'7 from Duke University, please welcome R.J. Barrett! With the third pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, the New York Knicks select R.J. Barrett! Look, you guys were star athletes growing up. I was not. Maybe you can fathom this. The notion of being 19 years old and having that oh, be my man. life is so unfathomable to me. I, I can't. I can't reach out and touch it. And also, I think people are underestimating that he's going to be a really good NBA player. Like he led Duke in, Duke in scoring. Okay, he's going to be aggressive. I appreciate the way the Knicks are embracing him because he deserves that, Greeny. What do you make of this? I mean, they're, they're, they're putting just, his name up there. It, it, reminded me of, it reminded me of Jesus, Jesus Shuttlesworth, a.k.a. Ray <laughs> Allen, when he went to take his visit at Big State. <laughs> meanwhile, as for RJ and his rookie season, our friend and colleague Michael Wilbon had these thoughts on who faces more pressure as a rookie, Zion or RJ. So the pressure might be greater on Zion outside of New Orleans, but in and where he's playing every day, with somebody who's wise and going to tamp down uh, uh, expectations or at least try to, like David Griffin, yes, there will be pressure. Will there be the kind of pressure that is on his Duke teammate, R.J. Barrett? I don't think there's any chance in the world the two situations will be comparable. I mean, listen, I, I, I've known the New York market extraordinarily well all of my life. <laughs> R.J. Barrett, as his introductory press conference, was asked if his shoulders are big enough to carry a franchise, mm. okay? <laughs> Zion Williamson's not being asked to do that, and to your point, he is uh, doing it in, in the second smallest media market mm -hmm. in the NBA. Uh, R.J. Barrett is being asked if he can carry the franchise in the biggest media market, candidly, on planet Earth. Uh, to me, there's no comparison in the pressure. No comparison? No comparison. So... You're talking about RJ and media market yeah. people. Right. I'm talking about Zion, LeBron, and all-time greats and $100 million shoe deal. Right. Zion has the most pressure. This is not even close. When you talk about potential players that came into the NBA and a lot of people felt like they were the marquee player coming out of the draft, not, not many people can say that they were more acclaimed than Zion Williamson. I, none could say that they're, they're, they got more attention than Zion okay. Williamson, but that isn't what I mean. What I mean by that is Zion Williamson, at least early in his career here, can play well. His team could be really good, and great things could be happening. R.J. Barrett, unless he is Superman, is going to be on a terrible team, at least his first year, and I think it could turn ugly because this is a fan base that was expecting a lot more this coming well, season. Well, basically, this is basically a referendum of New Yorkers versus those in New Orleans. That's basically what this is. It basically says, in New York, we expect you to carry us and carry a franchise and get your numbers. For Zion, it's you can ease into a better situation. The pressure clearly is more on Zion what do you think? than R.J. Barrett. I think from a basketball standpoint, it's R.J. Barrett. Like, when we, when we talk about... I've sat here and listened to you guys talk about the New York Knicks for the last year and how abysmal it's been within that organization. And thinking about this, too, and we talked about it in the meeting, they let Porzingis go. Now, I know there's an injury history, but, Jay, that was their only sign of life so, before they let Chris Stapps oh, go. Oh, so, so we're going to go from calling Zion the greatest to now saying he don't even have the highest expectation in his own draft? Because he got <laughs> the extraordinarily unique circumstance of being drafted into a good situation. Green. He can just be a piece Green. of that How about puzzle. this? How about this? Zion averaged 22 points and nine rebounds in college. Right. This year. Yes. Julius Randle averaged that in the NBA. Right. If Zion averaged that in the league, people going to say he didn't live up to it height. If, 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 if R.J. Barrett averaged that in the league, people going to say he balled. All right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.